Sure. You got it. All right, my name is Andre Park. Definitely want to thank each and every one of you for being on. Uh, it's a privilege and an honor to introduce a good friend of mine, business partner, uh, phenomenal leader here with New Age, Mr. Rick Radford. How are you doing today, sir? Doing great, Andre, and it's uh, a pleasure to be with you all again today. It's one of my favorite things to do during the week. So um, I'm not going to speak tonight. I'm just basically here to introduce a special guest and uh, someone who I had a chance to meet a number of years ago. We've uh, known each other in the industry. And, and as I was looking for a change in my life and my career at my advanced age, uh, I reached out to Mark and we started having conversations. And I was blown away by uh, what RX had accomplished to date and now New Age. And uh, so it is my pleasure to introduce one of the founders of RX. Also, the president of New Age and all of the entities, kind of president of the world in a matter of speaking. So, uh, good man, a father, a grandfather, a husband, and uh, someone I, I'm proud to call both a friend as well as my boss. So, please welcome president of New Age, Mark Wilson. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Thank you. Uh, that's very nice, Rick. I, I appreciate that. And it is Christmas time and bonus season, so that was a great introduction. I got to tell you, <laughs> always makes you feel good when uh, somebody loves you like that. No, actually, Rick and I have, have created quite a friendship and bond there because uh, his commitment to the field, and, and that was one of the things that I was probably most concerned about. Anytime when you're looking for employees to kind of support the, t the field, the number one question I ask him is, tell me how you feel about the field, our, our, our representatives, our IPCs that are in the field. And Rick is one of those unequivocally, without hesitation, they come first. And he always, I see him put him first because we believe that we want to treat people how we want to be treated. But more importantly, if we do that and we think abundantly, yeah, we're unstoppable, right? Everybody gets what they want and everybody can can achieve their dreams and goals. So thank you for having me on tonight. It's a pleasure and I feel very blessed to be part of this. And I want to tell you, I, I, I said this when I first got on, I love listening to Andre. I was given a, a little sample video of him the other day and I, I, was, I was fired up. I was excited again about the business all over again because... Uh, his enthusiasm, his positive nature and all about him, it attracts people and it attracts me. So even though I've been doing this now for 30 years and seeing some of the best there are, I was attracted. I was attracted to that positive nature and that capability because in my life, I've found if you can surround yourself with positive people, you can figure anything out. There is nothing you can't accomplish when you go through those pieces. And so thank you for being here with us this evening. I want to just take a minute if I could and if it's okay with you, uh, Andre, and just talk a little bit about where we're going and the vision of the company, if that's okay. Oh, perfect. I love it. So with, with the company coming together, a lot of people ask me, what are you guys doing? Because I've been, again, I've been in the industry for a long time. Uh, started with a company you may have heard of called Melaleuca. Spent some time there and went through some fun growth curves. And then I went to a uh, I kind of went out on my own for a little bit. And then, then I was hired on with another company called USANA Health Sciences, which now is over a billion dollars. Both those companies have gone on to be over a billion dollars. And I started about the same time when they were small and just getting growing. And, and I actually thought I was going to stay at USANA. It grew from 24 million up to 600 million when we left 14 years later, just shy of 15 years. So I'd spent a lot of time with that company, seeing that and growing and Quite frankly, thought I was going to retire there, but there were some things missing. And in the industry, you see things and you see opportunities sometimes in front of you. And the things that are missing sometimes are the pieces you think are holding us back from greatness. Uh, I look at how Uber has reinvented our taxi business. You know, I, I came, traveled over to Colorado yesterday. And when you walk out, you no longer see the, the row of, of yellow taxis. What you're doing is everybody, you see everybody walking out like this, doing their click for their Uber ride, right? and walking up to their right car. And I thought, wow, how did somebody disrupt an industry that big that quickly? Well, from our industry, it's over a hundred year old industry in the direct sales. It's $200 billion a year. And for an industry as old as it is, it's one of the few industries that every year continues to grow. So as much as we hear some of the negative side of things, we, we're missing out on the positive side, which means we, we're an industry that continues to grow and develop. And people say, well, how do you disrupt an industry like that? 
Well, nine years ago, we set out to do just that with a company called Oryx. And our philosophy was putting the field first, what we call our representative bill of rights, making sure that we truly build a business for you, help you build your own entrepreneurial business versus being a glorified salesperson where yeah, it sounds great and it's fun on stage, but the reality is you really don't own your business and you really aren't in control. We wanted to really just disrupt that from an industry standpoint. In addition to that, we said, why not think outside the box in all aspects? Rather than be one product or one brand, why not be a house of brands? So you can pick the things you're most passionate about. I'm wearing my Purity uh, t-shirt tonight, but Purity is one of our brands that we have that is an incredible brand with air pure, air and water purification. And it's an incredible brand. It's changed my family and I love it. And, and it, it works it, the, is the best part, right? So that's a brand somebody can get excited about. Maybe somebody says, that's just not very exciting. We are a house of brands. Whether you love skincare, weight loss, nutrition, uh, overall health, whatever you're most excited about, you can get involved with uh, building a strong immune system. So we added all these pieces together and we started to grow and we realized that we had something really special because as we have experienced nine years now of, of record growth every year, we've not had one down year, we've continued to grow. Well, this year earlier, we had no idea, but sometimes when things in your life are going along, you, you have no idea how things are going to come together. And this is where we've met this great man, Andre, and, and these pieces is we met a company called New Age. And New Age is a public company that app has a, another company within it that is a special company that's called Marinda or Noni. And Noni by New Age is one of those companies that Quite frankly, I hated competing against because they had a strong core culture. They had great products. They had great science and research, and they had this fun culture. And seeing the two companies' opportunities to come together and overnight, now that we've officially merged, and it's all official now, thank goodness, it's taken a while, but we're official. We, this next year, are projecting over $500 million a year in sales. So being able to leapfrog from the year before at $230 million to now over $500 million a year in sales is nothing short of exciting and miraculous because it puts us in one of the top 25 in the industry. Yeah. And in fact, our goal in the next few years is to get into the two and three billion dollars at a minimum. We do that through both this acquisition model, but the organic growth. And that's where it comes in so exciting for you because our business is growing in America. Most companies in our industry they, they start here and then they run around the, the world to try and grow because it's the only way they can continue to grow. We're actually growing right here in the United States. We're growing in Canada, in Mexico, and we're experiencing tremendous growth in other parts of the world as well. The beautiful thing about that diversity is it gives you a strong, stable company that is diverse, but is spread out so that it has that ability to withstand any kind of things that are thrown at it. And that's the beautiful thing about where we're at. So what's in it for you? We're trying to create something that's a special opportunity for our representatives to feel like within their, their own lives, they can create their own dream and what they want to go after. So if you want to make a few extra bucks a month, great, that we can help you with that. If you want to go a little more than that and you say, look, it'd be nice to make a, you know, an extra $500,000 a month, we can help you with that. If you want to go into the really big money and say, I'm all in and I want to go like Andre's going, then we can help you with that as well. That are life changing, what I would call incomes. And that is our goal is to sit down and custom tailor that with you to help you build your dream business in working for the things you want to do, where you want to do it with the people you want to do it with. Our job is to make sure that we can take an order. We can ship that order and we can pay commissions and support you on all the behind the scenes things that we do. And how we're doing that is we're focusing this next year uh, on our goals. We just had our board meeting where we, we planned and laid out our strategy and they bought off on it. So I'm here for another few months at least. Uh, they like me. And, and what we're going forward right now is we're gonna make sure we invest a lot in social selling and helping you become an influencer in your own right. What that means is as you're, you're using things like TikTok, Inst I don't understand TikTok, by the way. I'm too old. I know as a grandpa, I do not get it, but I see people that have millions of followers and I see the influence capability. Instagram, Facebook, all these different opportunities in social selling, 
that people have an interest, but they don't know how they share or they mess it up. So our job is we're pushing a lot of time and effort this year into making sure that we can help you with this. In addition to that social selling, and we've actually, by the way, been hiring experts on. It's one of the great things you do when you get scale this size, you can put resources where you need to, to really target on those things, especially a company of our size. And so we're putting a lot of resource and attention to to all of these pieces, not just smart links, but having new apps, new websites, uh, new social selling, what I call one-handed ordering, reviews on our products. We're gonna bring us up to speed where we need to be as a company and leading the way from that aspect. In addition to that, we have such incredible products like the Tahitian Noni product that has dozens and dozens of studies done on it. If you really look at the literally millions and millions of bottles that have been sold to repeat customers over 20 years of repeat purchases and the science and things that you can't you can't have a bad product when you've been doing something like this to have this many repeat buyers for this many years and continuing to be growing and developing and we're taking brands like that and showing people how they can build a stronger immune system how their customers want to buy these and repeat purchase so all of those things are our job to help you create an easier opportunity for you to grow globally and set that up. And as we're bringing this together, there has never been a better time because this is where you talk about kind of a, what I, I guess the right term would be like a pre-launch is we're bringing things together where you look at this and say, I have an opportunity to really jump in and do something incredible with the momentum and, and kind of be part of that momentum wave rather than on the tail end. You, you, anytime you're in any industry that's going like this, you, you don't want to be on the downhill side of that, right? You want to be on that up curve when it's got the momentum and the things going in. And I want to make a promise to you as your president, we're going to do everything we can to make sure the company's profitable, that we continue to manage effectively and efficiently and that's one of the things that is our commitment. We've done a very good job of that in the past. And we're bringing that all to us to make sure that collaboratively, you're going to see that because there's multiple ways to invest. There's investment in the business side where you say, I want to become a participant and grow a business where I can have some residual and build something really special. That's a legacy is our goal. In addition to that, one of the reasons we went public was we, with this opportunity is we wanted to make sure that our field partners could also participate in the upside as we grew the business. When you're a private company, it's kind of hard to give 10,000 to 50,000 people an opportunity to grow with you in ownership because you just, you know, a private company can't have 10,000 owners, but in a public company, it gives you the opportunity to do that either on a small scale or a large scale and you get to determine that. So in, in addition to that, we also were able to have the investment strategy to be able to do acquisitions and grow at even a faster pace. Because we believe as we consolidate the industry together with some great companies and great opportunities, it only provides better opportunities for you. It provides additional brands for you. It provides additional um, strength and stability in, in, as we build this company together. So our focus really this next year, we'll be continuing that growth pattern. You'll see us come together. We're in so many countries, you know, I can't even name them all. So the beautiful thing is, I'm sure you'll name one that I'm not in yet, but don't worry, someday in the future, I'm sure we'll be there. The reality is this is an incredible opportunity with great products, great new things. We have continued companies coming to us that are interested in joining this collaboration and being part of this. And so it's not something that's on the downhill, it's on something that's on the uprising and that's the timing to be in. And the beautiful thing is by being now nine years old and, and New Age is only about four years old. So we're, you know, we've got this youthful company with us with, the beautiful thing is we have enough experience, enough stability, enough expertise to be able to know that you're not gonna see this thing just disappear tomorrow, that we have that stability and strength and we have the, the disciplines to be able to really deliver something special for you. So I, I couldn't be more excited about where we're going and the direction we're headed in. We're working hard, we're having fun. And uh, if you ever have a chance, I know right now it's crazy with the world where we're at. And I hope that this starts to uh, kind of subside a little bit. Uh, but once it does, if you ever want to come out and, and come visit us in Utah or Nevada or wherever, wherever, you know, your home, my home is your home. And I'm, I mean that I, we love having people. We, Rick and I have entertained literally hundreds of people in my house at a time. We bring busloads up and we have funds.
come during the summer when it's not three feet of snow though, uh, unless you bring your winter coats. But we, we love getting to know you and getting to know your families and we look forward for you to getting to know us. And I think that's part of this in business now is you know, we want this to be a very relationship based so that you get to know us and our goals and we get to know how we can support you. And that's really where we can serve you. If we can serve you and have you become successful, then, you know, you're going to tell everybody about it. You're going to be excited about the opportunity. You're going to see that we provide you all the tools. And for me, anytime I look at businesses, I've invested in a bunch of different businesses and in, over the years and and, and been very blessed and very successful in, in many of these uh, opportunities. The, the beautiful thing about it is I always look for, okay, let's look at the management team. Let's look at their experience. Our CEO, Mr. Brent Willis, is so experienced, not only in, in, in general success in business. I, I think he was one of the youngest uh, presidents for Coke, uh, and he went down to South America. I'm probably misquoting, but... Uh, then he took a, a, a beer company that was this little tiny international beer company and created, a, I don't know, $100 billion. It was ridiculous how big this thing became in a period of a number of years through acquisitions and things. I believe they bought Budweiser, Amhoser, Bush. I can't remember which one it was, but one of these. It's that kind of scale of his experience. We're not talking a CEO who got lucky and mom and dad put him in the position and said, son, go have fun with this. We're not talking about somebody who said, yeah, I think I'll go try this and see how I do it because I got my MBA at Wharton. No, 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 no. This this cat, he 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 he's been there, he's done it, and he's experienced it. But he came back and said, "I want to do something truly unique. I want to do something that really makes a difference." And and when he created uh, Newbeb, that that was the whole thing when he came out with this with New Age is well, let's create something that really disrupts. And, and I think he fell into the industry a little bit, but now he's so passionate about it, he can't stand it. He's like, what have you done to me? I love these people. I love interacting with them. And I love seeing all these entrepreneurs that are growing and have dreams and goals and aspirations. And I feel a little committed to it. And I was like, yeah, you, you, you do because you become part of the family. And that's really from top down how we're led. And I want you to know that that is our commitment as you're looking at this or investigating what the opportunity is, because this is like nothing you've ever seen as we're pulling this together, the growth, the opportunities. Uh, the comp plan is, is unbelievable. Uh, I, have, I have said for nine years, I would challenge anybody that thinks they have a better compensation plan to challenge against our, at that time, our CEO, now he's a board of directors, Dr. Fred Cooper, on an open debate on their comp plan versus ours and the quality of our comp plan. I'm that confident in how, how, how we compensate you in a fair and equitable way like no other. And why is that important to you? Well, if you're gonna put your time and effort to it, you need to know you're gonna be compensated fairly and you're gonna be taken care of. And that the more you grow it, the more benefit you get, which is only deserving of where you're at. But uh, the, the other pieces that we're doing are so unique and, and so fun with patents filed, with some exciting new things and stay tuned because 2021, okay, not only did we grow in 2020, all right, and we had phenomenal growth during all this craziness and all these things going on, all right, uh, when you combine the companies and put it all together, but in 2021, stay tuned because we have some exciting new customer acquisition programs going on in social selling. We have some new launches that we'll be doing. We're going to enhance some of our product offerings and some of the pieces we're doing. We have new technology we've been working on. You're going to see new websites and new fresh ways of ordering and simplification. So uh, there's going to be a whole revamping, so to speak, as we're coming together and collaborating this next year. And by the end of 2021, you're just going to say, Wow, this is crazy where we were able to go. And to me, that's the perfect positioning because you're not joining a company who's just getting started that someday says, I hope we can create this. You're going to be part of something where you can jump into momentum immediately and continue that path uh, at the next several years. And I think over the next several years, uh, that's the life changing opportunities. So, Andre, that's uh, that's a little bit who we are and what's going on right now. And we are 100% all in and committed. I don't think I've ever worked this hard. I've been doing this for 30 years. And I, I, I got to tell you, I, I told my family the other day, they said, Dad, we don't even see you anymore. And I said, I know. And, and we're in lockdown, right? But yeah. life, is, uh, life is fun right now. And when you have opportunities like this, I've learned in my career, 
you need to seize those because there are a few that you look back on two or three times probably in your career that you would say that was an opportunity and I either took advantage of it and it blessed my life like no no other or I let it pass and I regret it and you know I I don't I don't want to be a participant I want to be a you know I mean I don't want to be a spectator I want to be a participant just the opposite right I want to be participating in what's going on not being a spectator on the side so that's a little bit about us and we're having fun that is phenomenal and you know it's one word that every time I hear it on a video on a website and I've heard you mention it a few times uh, disrupt. And I think one of the, the words that you guys use was disrupt, disrupt by design. Going into 2021, if, if you can just speak maybe a little bit on how are we going to, and, and let me be the, the doubtful Tom, which I'm not naturally, but let me jump on that side. And in the last few years in our industry, we've had a few companies say, yeah, we're going to disrupt the network marketing industry. We're going to disrupt direct sales. And they launched a website. Um, they launched some new product that you stick in your nose instead of taking the pill or, they, or you stick a patch on your arm instead of drinking in the juice form. And that was their formula for disruption. And... I think since Uber, that's been the cliche word that's kind of thrown around now. So like I said, I, that's not my normal personality, but let me play that person sure. right now. I mean, what are we going to, how are we going to really disrupt the, the industry that's going to benefit everybody on here in 2021? Absolutely. Great question. Because you're right. Everybody's kind of that. They use the cliche words and they're saying, look at these great things that we're going to do. And it never really happens because it's the same, you know, it's the same thing just dressed up differently. Right. So you really look at what is different and our disrupted by design mantra. It is also a, a way of life for us because we look at this industry. And when we started nine years ago, we said, you know what? We don't want just one person in control. We don't want two of us in control. Too many of these companies are run by one person or a family. And then when you have the founder's dilemma and you, you, you all of a sudden, it doesn't become a legacy business because decisions are not made wisely. They're made by one person or one individual control. And I'm not saying a, a single owner company is a bad company, but statistically speaking, groups make better decisions. And we started that day one. Fred Cooper could have been uh, the, 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 not only the majority shareholder, the controlling shareholder, and he chose not to because he had that abundant mindset. That was something that was disruptive in our industry. And people are like, you guys are crazy. We started something called the Founders Club where we said, look, we don't like the fact that the company is judge and jury in compliance situations or in decisions of comp plan changes and other things. We want our field to earn a right to be able to say, look, I have paid the price and I'm one of your key people who have helped you build this business and you wouldn't have been there without me. I, I deserve as much as the Wilson family or the Cooper family or the Ladson family to have a say in this. And we, we have over 20 founders that those founders in the field have, get to vote on compensation plan changes before we can ever make a comp plan change. They can overturn terminations of field leaders. They have... They get to participate in the economic benefits of the company. Why is that? We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. That's the abundant mindset. Uh, that is very unique in the industry. And you'd say, no, I've heard about this. Oh, no, there's bonuses and other things. But no one's done it to the level we've done it because we said, if we really want to change the industry, competition's the way to do it, right? Uber put the taxi business out of, out of business because of competition. Apple and, and Samsung and these guys fight for who has the best phone all the time, right? But I did see, and I was going to say, I never see a Motorola anymore, but I, I did see one the other day. It was the first time I'd seen one in years, right? But uh, you talk about competition. These guys have dominated competition compared to Motorola and the others that were some of the first in the industry, right? Because they were so disruptive of, of how you think of your phone now. You don't think of your phone like just a device to call people. You think of this as everything to you, right? This controls everything for you. It's your life control, right? They they went so far beyond what we thought and disruptive. And that's what we decided to do in this industry. And we said, okay, we don't want to look at one brand. We want to look at a house of brands, how we do this. We looked at acquisitions and said, 
Why can't we be a consolidator to bring companies together rather than fighting against each other? Why aren't we all working together? We should be competing against the Amazons of the world and everybody else. And so let's, let's create a forum where we can do this in a format in which we can be successful in this environment. And we've done that as we're doing this. And no one's been successful doing that to the level we have. And now bringing these two together, we're gonna to show yet again, because we've got a lot of doubters. We got some haters saying, ah, they'll, they'll never do it. They'll never pull it to go off. They can't make this work. And you know what? When they see this, as we've, as we've not only done it and accomplished it, but we're going to continue to do it. We're going to continue to refine this offering. That's another thing very disruptive in our industry because most go, no, this is oil and water. We can't mix these two cultures and, and different things. And then they try to force you into adopting a new culture. And with us, we celebrate it. If you come from Limu, enjoy your Limu roots. If you come from Noni or, or Oryx or Shannon or Mavi or any of these things, if you love that, then stick with it and grow it and have fun with it, okay? And we love that, those kind of pieces. If it's not working for you, great. We'll help you find a tribe that you do feel comfortable with, right? And where you want to go in your environment so that you have that identity of what you love to do. So that's another piece there. We've also looked at it from a very disruptive standpoint in the compensation plan and how we think about things. We did things no one has ever done in the industry. Uh, Crossline being able to work together financially without hurting the infra. It was called a power re-entry. And I won't get into our comp plan today. Everybody said, it's impossible. You can't do that. You can't let Crossline people work together. We figured it out. Uh, our, our brilliant Dr. Cooper said, you know what? I've got a way to do it. And I, I, I for months said, no, it won't happen. It won't happen. I, and I tried bringing up every negative, but it works. And we've proven it for the last uh, five, six years. We, we waited a few years to launch that because we wanted to make sure the company was ready. Those are just little examples of what we're doing to disrupt. In 2021, here's where we're going. We're going to create, and what, what our goal is, is to become the world's leading social selling and distribution company. We want to help you become influencers in social selling and distribution so that it makes it easier for you to get customers, easier for you to invite people into the business. And we have a thing that we'll be launching uh, during next year that's called Quick Clicks. And we have the exclusive rights in the industry to use this for a period of time. And the better we perform, the longer I get to keep it. I'm just going to say that. But this, this will allow you basically, it'll blow your mind on the things we can do from a, a social selling standpoint, meaning we can pick almost any item that we think is any kind of a worthy cause and put it into an offering where you can offer this out to your customers and by them simply sharing this with their friends and family and, and, and their influence, right? Those waves go out and they can automatically receive some compensation down to the last penny or just by halving it down. I won't go into it tonight because it's, it's pretty cool. But the reality is, there is no monthly minimum, no application, no sign up fees and all these other gotchas that are in our industry. This is just simply saying, I love this product. I purchased one and then I shared it with other individuals in my social influence. Oh, Andre sees it. He says, wow, Mark, Mark likes that. I'm going to try it. He clicks on it and buys it. I, I receive some benefit from that. OK, hmm. uh, let's say. There was $10 benefit. I get five of it. I get half of it. Andre goes out and shares it with his friends. He gets, he gets $5 the half. But guess what? I get $250 from everybody he shared on down to the last penny. Guess what? There is no application. There is no enrollment. There is no monthly minimum. This is in addition to your normal business. So you're double dipping. And the beautiful thing is, as leaders, you'll be able to come to us and say, uh, I love these reading glasses. These are my favorite reading glasses on the planet. Um, can we go do a deal with these reading glasses? Now, normally I would say, no, that's just not, Foster Grant is not my business. I'm not interested in doing it. But we go out and find out that we can, we can work a deal with Foster Grant because we have hundreds of thousands of customers. And we say, how would you like to be exposed to hundreds of thousands of customers buying these? And we'll even sell them at the retail price you're selling them in the stores, right? And they'll say, oh, well, we'll give you $5 for every pair of glasses you sell. Great. We'll take that and use that as a commission rolling down to invite consumers as influencers to share. Okay. 
Now, I'm not giving it complete justice and everything it's doing because this is in addition to our normal commission. Well, now when somebody starts to earn a few bucks, now you can go back and say, hey, Mark, there's an opportunity here for you. You need to look at because look at all these amazing products, look at all these amazing services. And it's not an uphill battle trying to recruit and sponsor. It's I've had some success. So you're going to take your customers and have a whole new way to expose them to virtually anything out there on the planet. It has 23 patents filed on it, protecting it in every aspect there is. Uh, it is Did an you incredible say 23? new three. 23 patents wow. have been filed to protect Quick Clicks on its its method of selling. It's just a complete method of how it's going to work. And New Age has negotiated the rights to that to uh, to begin with. So in our industry, we'll be the first in our industry to have it, and exclusive for a time period. So yeah. So that's just one example. We're going to continue to work on social selling on teaching people how to uh, do uh, what they call scraping. OK, it's a whole it'd be a whole call. We can talk about how you can basically do some influence that you had no idea about shareables. You're going to see all kinds of shareables. that will just be easy little things. And you'll help us create these. And you'll say, do you have one for the single mom? Do you have one for the the tired working dad? Do you have one for the entrepreneur? Do you have one for the health nut? Do you have one for the gym rat? Do you have one for the, you know, the, 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 you know, the farmer? I mean, we, we could create all kinds. And what we want to do is create these shareables for you that you help us. And then we test these to where we see which ones have the highest conversion rates. And we've hired a whole staff and team coming on that are going to do nothing but this in 2021. So by the end of the year, will look very, very differently as far as an offering for you to make it very easy for you to share. We're gonna build um, a, whole, a whole new area there where you can go in based on topic and search out any kind of support tools, videos, things you want, click, one click kind of creations of tools for you to customize just a little bit because you have a little unique approach you wanna do. Mm -hmm. So those tools are all coming in 2021 and we're already under review. In fact, I spent most of the day today reviewing new websites, new apps, new things that are working on and, and we're gonna start being in the development testing for an April launch. So exciting new things coming together, uh, not to mention, uh, don't be surprised if you don't see uh, maybe another company or two join us and, and maybe some new opportunities and new brands, so. That is strong. You didn't say, you said a, another one or two. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Never know. So that's some pretty powerful disruption there in social selling. Uh, I am not a internet uh, person as to say. I, I do know people that are influencers and people that are good at internet marketing. And what I do see on their part, what most people don't see is the 40, 50, 60s, sometimes 80 hours behind the scenes creating content and videos and they've got to learn SEO and what ads work, what keywords to post, what hashtags, how to copyright. And when some people start to hear social selling, they're thinking, oh, I've got to be an internet guru. Can grandma be able to do this when we roll this out? Or can my, you know, young adult daughter that she really don't want to do network marketing, would that be something that's appealing to her? Yeah, a great question, Andre. And my first comment would be is absolutely. Our goal is to make it so simple that even grandma could grab something and quick and click and, and share. Okay. Now your teenage daughter, she's going to, she's going to knock it out of the park because she knows so much more. My kids look at me and laugh because like I say, I don't understand TikTok. I, I've tried watching it. I don't understand it, right? But, but my kids do, and they spend time on this. Now, in addition to that, though, I would tell you, don't, don't think that your business is completely just evolved to this. This is yeah. just one additional tool. You're still going to want to get out and get to know people. You're going to want to make connections with people. You're going to want to do what I call the hard yards because that's where the real money comes in. That's where following people like experienced people like Andre and others that you're going to meet on this that, that have the experience and have the success. I've always felt that I'm going to always try and find somebody smarter than me and better than me at anything I'm doing when I learn something. Uh, you know, that's been my thing in my whole life is I like hanging around with people better and smarter than me at anything I'm doing. Why? Because 
everybody's like, well, yeah, but don't you like, do you like being the worst golfer? Do you like being the worst snowmobiler or motorcycle? I don't mind that because it pushes me into becoming better. If I'm always the best at everything, I'm never pushed to, to continue to even become better. So in this environment, you want to surround yourself with really amazing, smart people like Andre, like others who have the experience. And I'm not just saying this. I've seen it, have the experience and the expertise and the success track record to really go out and do some amazing things. Then you learn these additional tools. So all of this will be just one more piece that I'm adding on to the offering we have today, because guess what? We have people going crazy right now. OK, uh, I just got down from Mexico and everybody's like, well, you know, it, things are difficult. Well, you don't think they're difficult in Mexico in a third world market right now with everything going on. And they're growing like crazy. They're having double digit growth. In fact, our number one power ranker, a person who's growing faster than anybody uh, is from Mexico. I think he dropped to number two behind France, but he's going to go right back up, he told me this week. And so when you see things like that that are happening and they've been hit hard with COVID, they've been hit hard with these things, but they're out hustling and working and the, the opportunity is there. It's opportunity around the world as we're growing and seeing this. And we're growing right here in the good old USA. It is growing right here. In fact, I think last month, uh, New Age had like a 10, 15% growth uh, month over month. So things are happening right here as we're looking at this and, and the opportunity there. And so some of that's going to be taking the traditional basic way of building a business and, and the things that you need to listen to, but we're just going to add on additional pieces to you, which what I'm hoping that does is just make you even more effective in your results. That is fantastic. Well, I, I know your time is very limited and we, we already took you away from your family. Some, they already not see you, but um, I'm all in and the folks that are on, they're all in. What would be your, your game plan? We're, we're treating this era like a pre-launch period between now and, yep. and April 1st and have an all out massive action mentality. What would be some of the key, one or two key things you would share with them to make sure they do every day or every week to make sure they capitalize on this moment that we have in front of us? I would say the biggest mistake people make is procrastination. They say, oh, mm. I'm going to wait till after the holiday. Oh, I'm going to wait till after this. I would say every day create a discipline of I'm going to spend an hour, whatever time it is, and be consistent. Con consistency and tenacity are the two keys to success in this business. You have to be tenacious and not worry what anybody thinks, what anybody says. I, I've told people this for years. You have to be crazy when you start. And the more you're told you're crazy, the more you're on the right path. Listen to me on this one, okay? And then one day you go from crazy to lucky. And it's the craziest thing on the planet because everybody's like calling you crazy, saying how crazy you are. And then one day that it isn't, wow, you're so deserving of what you've gotten. It's Oh, she's so lucky. He's so lucky. Look at this, right? So then you, you want to strangle them, but you don't, you just smile. So I promise you tenacity and consistency. What I would tell you right now is be all in and be engaged. You can do this slow or you can do it fast. Most people who try to be marathoners though, they burn out before they really get to the success. Uh, sprinters, the danger is you sprint and then you wait too long in between the next race, right? So if you're a sprinter, just take really small little breaks, okay, like a day and then back in it, okay? But my, my advice to you would be, I would give it everything I have right now. I'm telling you with what we have going on, not just all these things I've been talking about, but new product technology coming out. We have new resources coming on. We have new, new tools. Uh, all of it's going to look very different this next year. You want to be running along with it. And the person who has the most momentum and the group will take advantage of all these different pieces. So take what you have, get excited and get started because the momentum now in December will, will, will dictate how well you do in January. If you wait till January, it's February, March before you're going to see any kind of results for your efforts. Even if you say, I'm going to hit it hard in January. Well, guess what? If you can hit it now in December, January, you'll be in momentum already and you'll already be positioned very, very well. Uh, that is the biggest key I could give you is, is don't procrastinate this right now. Have fun with it and, and get involved and get your piece of it because what, what an opportunity, what fun as you start to build this momentum. And it takes some time as you, you get going, 
the other thing I would say is don't compare yourself. You know, just just do your very best and give it all you got and surround yourself. I'm going to repeat myself. Surround yourself with great people who are positive and people that you can have be your mentors like Andre, you know, um, like Mr. Williams, like others. I'm telling you, you want Shannon Rollins of the world, the people that have been there and done it. You've got people like Andre. You've got uh, don't, you don't have to listen to me. I don't know anything, but you, you want to surround yourself with people who will help you and inspire you. And, and, and that will make all the difference in your life. I promise you. So. Well, Mr. Mark Wilson, I thank you so, so very much uh, for being on here with us. And uh, so the key thing is don't procrastinate, take action. Don't compare yourself to others and get busy in this month of December. So you'll be in momentum come January. You got it. All right. Well, Mr. Wilson, hey. show appreciate you and um, look forward to meeting you in person one day here real soon. And oh, to yeah, that. Utah, we normally wait till like after April, May-ish, but Nevada, <laughs> we can do that in the winter months. <laughs> Anytime you want. I look forward to it. And I don't blame you in Utah as well. Sometimes it is a little cold. Come out in the spring or summer when it's nice and warm. So uh, yeah, thank you everybody. And thank you for spending some time with me tonight. That's a pleasure. And I'm honored that you would, uh, you'd spend some time out of your, out of your nights. Okay. I right, appreciate you, Mr. Mark Wilson. Right. You take thank care. You. God bless. And you have a phenomenal day. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, everyone. Definitely want to thank you for being on, but more importantly, please make sure you thank the person who invited you on here live or share this video with you. Understand we're at the beginning stage of something massive that the world has never seen before. You've got your opportunity right now to take massive action so you can start to get massive results in your life. Get back with the person that shared this information with you. Take care. God bless. And I truly look forward to seeing you on the beast of the world. Peace out.